Almighty Puss! What's up, man? This your boy, the Wolf, coming at y'all, man. Hopefully, I can, you know, I can, you know, enlighten a couple of folks, man. You know, because there's still a vast majority on Forza that don't really know how to drag tune these cars. So, you know, today I'm, I'm gonna give y'all just a little quick rear wheel drive tutorial. Now, this tune itself won't work across the board, but just the tuning techniques and the way and the way you set the car up will work across the board for root for root rear, rear wheel drive cars. I mean them motherfuckers sounding stupid. Anyways though, so I'm starting off with the Mustang. Um trying to figure out man, look, we're gonna go with the uh yeah I like that. Yeah I like that. The Ruby Red motherfucker. We're gonna hop in that right. Forty racks. It ain't nothing. Alright, now that we got the car, the title is mine, I own it, so let's go on the, uh, we're going to go to upgrades and tune it first, then we're going to go to custom upgrade, alright, because you, you, you want to select every part you put on that motherfucker, alright, bet, so now the engine, we're going to leave that stock 5.0 in there, of course, we're not swapping, then, so you get an option. You can do twin turbo or you can do supercharger. So, supercharger gives you a harder launch. So, all right, off a of base tune, supercharger gives you a harder launch. But uh, twin turbos will give you more high end, more horsepower. Um, I'm going to go with twin turbo because there's a way that you can have twin turbo cars launch like supercharged cars in this game. So, we're going to go on and choose that. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, the engine. We're gonna do all the upgrades. This is something that you know, like just this shouldn't be new to y'all. Uh, the only upgrade that we aren't gonna do is the oil cooler because that weight at the weight the weight makes no sense. So we can uh 894, 940. The weight, I'm not gonna mess with watch this. I get eight horsepower and I get I get 40 pounds. So yeah, flywheel. Me personally, I always upgrade my flywheel. That's just me though. All right, now we go to platform and handling. Right, hit the brakes. We doing everything to shave weight. We turning everything on the car. You know what I mean, oh, and, um, real quick. A lot of folks wonder why when you do uh when you do suspension. You choose rally and not like the race springs. Rally springs, you can raise the car higher, which gives you a better better zero to sixty. So yeah. Front row bars. I'm putting them on, but we aren't really gonna tune them. At least I don't. And of course, Mink full weight reduction. Uh, the clutch. Race clutches, transmission, race transmission, race dry line, and race diff. Uh, oh yeah. So now, now here comes uh, you know all the tires We're running the grip. Yeah, we want the drag the drag radials. Now one thing you, I like I like to judge. <clears throat> sorry. I like to judge my tire width based off my amount of the amount of horsepower and weight. These max out at 315s, and 315s is really mm, for this power to, power to weight ratio. It'll get the job done. Now the wheels. We want to go for the lightest wheels. See them hole shots. I want them hole shots. That's a drag pack. See that? See that? That's a drag pack. Uh, them whole 
Oh, shots. There you go. Now we got a. Now we got a drag pack. So now the wing, you can take it off. You, I mean, you get more. Uh, you get more uh, 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 top end without the wing. So we're gonna take the wing off. Race man, race man, yeah, that's me. Normally I paint it, but we ain't gonna do that. We just, we just gonna let it rock. I got you. Alright, we're gonna take it to the we're gonna take it to the trash. I'm not look I'm I'm not I'm look, I'm not gonna give y'all no no I'm not gonna waste y'all time by running it stock. You know we're going straight to the tomb. car so yeah now if you check the all right so tire pressure is important the front we don't we don't want any grip on them front tires so we can raise the tire pressure all the way up but we want all the grip in the back so we're gonna drop it down to 15 gearing I tune all my cars at 220 some cars you you can adjust it you can shorten up shorten it up but for the most part all my cars are 220 and I'm gonna show y'all why in a minute so now alignment i run positive camber in the front like i said because we don't want any grip on those front tires this is a minimized front grip um cast angle i forgot what this does to be honest i always put it on seven on seven oh i really i'm having a brain for it um i don't touch anti-roll bars springs Rear wheel drive cars, front springs all the way down, rear springs all the way up. All right, there you go, boom. Damping, same thing. So the front, sorry, front dampers for rebound stiffness and bump stiffness all the way down, and the rear should be all the way up. So it's like this kind of weird, kind of weird, right? Rebound stiffness. Front all the way down, rear all the way up. Bump stiffness, front all the way up, rear all the way down. Now, I do I do this brake stuff just so I can do my little burnout. That's why I do this. They may hop on asking personal questions. Look, don't worry about my pockets, worry about your pockets. But nah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mess around, put it at 455. <laughs> he said that's how you talk to your subscribers, cuz. <laughs> he said, don't worry about my pockets, worry about your pockets. Make sure you get money. Nah, that was kinda asshole -ish, but see, my subs know I'm an asshole though, so I ain't really worried about it. Shit, all a hundred and goddamn seventy-five of them. <laughs> hey, man. My channel little. I'm still growing. All right, shit. And do a quick burnout. So you can back all the way to the wall with this one. Or you can come up here. So now, this, all right, this is when, uh, this is when the uh, this is when uh, the what's the name comes in comes in port, comes in handy. So like the first gear. <laughs> All right, so yeah, mind you, I'm holding A and I'm holding the gas all the way in, and the car holds at 2,000 RPM. So now I let go of A. And see, in my opinion, it doesn't get off the line fast enough. So we do is we're gonna go back to cars, tune car. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep playing with the first gear, okay? Let's try. We're gonna try five four. 
and of course we have to, we have to, have, have to shorten the rest of the gears up too. So now mind you, oh, oh let me explain this real quick so y'all don't get confused when you're tuning your cars. Now this works for pretty much, uh, this works across the board for tuning your cars, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, doesn't matter. Um, so it's kind of self-explanatory, the shorter the gear, the high, okay, so the higher the actual number of the gear, the shorter that gear actually is. And it's, so it's like this. For cars with um, higher horsepower, you those cars with high horsepower and high torque tend to like longer gears. This this car ever it's like there is a certain balance between short and long gears in the Mustang. But let's do this. See that? See that that's 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 usually what I'm looking for. Okay, watch this. Watch my launch. See that? You all see how like the front wheels are uh, not off the ground, but they're, they're they're pretty high up. So yeah. Now, once we get it like that, now we can go through and uh, and fine tune it. So now now we're looking for any imperfections within the rest of the gears. First to second, second to third, third to fourth. Watch. See that slight stutter means I can short. I can either I can either extend uh I can either extend first or shorten second. But because I like my launch, I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna uh, extend second. I'm sorry, no, shorten second. Cause see we want say we want second gear to be closer to first gear. To bridge some of that gap. The rest of them I keep like I keep like that small adjustments. You see that? How like that uh that slight fall went away. Let me show you guys one more time so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. There you go, watch this. Check the tire pressure. Alright, as long as I launch. Oh yeah, see it, I like that. So now, all honesty, the fourth can be a little shorter because I noticed, let's see if I can get it back and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in fourth. So fourth is, is, a, is, a, is a, pretty, it's a pretty long gear right now. Watch, watch when I go to fourth, look at my RPMs. You can kind of hear it. It's like it's like it it it, it kind of dies out. Now let's see. Shorten up four for a little bit. Okay, I like that. It looks, it looks, it looks weird, but you'll see why it looks like that as I run it. Well, seven yeah, that's that's not beating the tires. Let's race him. He looks all wheel drive and sounds like a V12 would run anyways. Boom. See that? Now see I'm grabbing 168.85 versus 167 from before. Like fourth gear can make can make all the difference. It's crazy, like it's crazy. Um so I guess that was like kinda I guess like kinda like an in-depth tutorial and I guess tune for the Mustang. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. 
make sure you're on Xbox. I'm, I'm always replying. I'm always on Xbox. Um, if you guys have any, any recommendations for what, what tunes you guys like to see on different cars, you know, you can also drop those below and let me know. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.